Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math video on the introduction to complex numbers. So this topic is usually introduced in pre-calculus, but it's also going to be useful for anyone who wants a refresher. So let's start off with an equation. If we are solving for x, where x squared is equal to 9, it's the same as asking you to take the square root of 9 to solve for x. And at this point, we simply look for a number which, when multiplied by itself, is equal to 9. So in this case, 3 times 3 is equal to 9, and negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9. So we have two answers. x is either equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 3. And so what if, instead of positive 9, we're looking for when x squared is equal to negative 9. Now, at this point, it's a little more difficult. 3 times 3 doesn't work because 3 times 3 is still equal to positive 9. And negative 3 times negative 3 is also still equal to positive 9. So how do we account for this negative? It turns out there was no real way to explain this until mathematicians realized the possibilities and assigned a number that when multiplied by itself is equal to a negative number. And that number is i, which is sometimes known as the imaginary number. So i, when it is squared, is equal to negative 1, which means that the square root of i, the square root of i squared, is equal to the square root of negative 1. So the primary root of the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So we can use i in order to solve for x squared is equal to negative 9. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. So x will be equal to negative 9. And we can split up negative 9 into negative 1 times positive 9. And at this point, we can split the radical. x is equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of negative 1. At this point, I'd like to point out that we're just going to be looking for the primary root of the square root of negative 9. We're not going to be worrying about uh, negative answers. So x is equal to the square root of 9 is going to be 3 times the square root of negative 1 we've defined as i. So x is equal to 3i which is the most simple form of x squared is equal to negative 9. So this video is just a very basic introduction to complex or imaginary numbers, and they are very useful in applications after pre-calculus. They're used a lot in advanced physics, for example, and i is just a really cool number. It's cyclical, um, kind of like negative 1 is. And so thank you for watching and be sure to visit our website centerofmath.org for our pre-cal textbook and even more math resources.